Hello Team Zug, and today we're back with not one, but two All Engine School motorized characters to review. This time we're doing James and Carly. So, let's see what they have to offer. You know what they say, ladies first. Oh yeah, here's the back if you want to know. And here she is, Carly the Crane Engine. Now, so, what do I think of Carly? Well, let's see what she has to offer first. So, Carly comes by herself, and you might be wondering, Team Zug, why is Carly's um hook not on her? And why is it on this flatbed? Well, hang on. Does that answer your question? Yep. So, Carly's hook is actually removable. Which is good, actually, because if you do not like the idea of a Carly being a crane engine, boom, take this off, you can make a new character. And also, another cool thing about this, um, about the, the all just go Carly, is that you can actually put it back and forward and... And I just noticed that it could actually spin this way, like 60 degrees, so that's pretty cool. Another cool thing about this is that you could do it till the very end, but of course I'm not going to do that. The flatbed that Carly comes with is actually pretty neat. Although we don't see it in the show, it's a nice touch. They included this because we need to find a place where Carly... You need to put the flatbed anyway, so yeah. And what if I told you? But first, I'm just I'm gonna say that later. But first, I want to take a look at the uh, push on form. So yeah, Carly's hook in the push on cannot do the thing like that. But however. It does have painted buffers, and of course the Morais ones were never painted buffers, except for Diesel for some reason. But what if I told you, Carly was meant to have painted buffers. In fact, a whole new mold, a whole new mold was originally used for Carly. And I'm going to show you the prototype right now. Yep, that is Carly's prototype. As you can see here... Her, her cab is a little bit lower than her other half of the cab, as you can see here. This part with the two windows is a little bit taller. Her buffers are painted yellow. And of course, you don't see that on the motorized one. In fact, I just noticed that even her car was also a prototype. On the prototype, it had grey wheels, but this had yellow. So, that's interesting. So, yeah. It's a real shame that this was not her final product. In fact, I think the prototype is better than the actual one. I get because we had to change the cab design because she had to fit under bridges and tunnels. And I guess I kind of like the idea they changed her... Her car's wheels from grey to yellow, but her yellow buffers? I don't know. I think that should have been on the final product. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments, or there won't be any comments, but whatever. Okay, now we got Carly out of the way. Let's move on to the number five engine. There's James.
So, here's James. So, what do I think of James? Well, let's start off with the positives. First off, that face is amazing. In fact, they just compare it to the push along and it looks really, really good. I also like the color theme they chose with it. And yep, the color theme is really good. And the tender, oh, I cannot forget about the tender. The tender looks amazing. In fact, I think it might be even more accurate to the original show's tenders. But it's just me. I mean, I think this is a little bit more of a fallow tender. But who am I kidding? I think the original tenders are, is still good, but by looking at it and holding it, it's, I just love the model. And yeah, and also the wheels, yes. Now technically James has black wheels, but but these are closer to black because they're the dark grey ones. And the push long ones had the exact same ones. And to be honest, I would rather have that than... Let's just pull my orange oh, gold diesel. Diesel has purple wheels. For no reason. James has grey wheels. It's a little bit closer to black, but that's a little bit more accurate. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so. Okay. Now let's move on to the negative things I have about this. Well, let's talk about the face again. Now, it's nothing to do with the face, except there's... I just noticed on the my model is that it has a little rough around this side. And you can kind of see... What, did they just take... My boy James to McDonald's and then just put it back in the package. I don't know. Another thing I have a complaint about is the lighting on his black lining around his cab, wheel arches, and even the tender. They're kind of a little faded, so I don't know if it's only on my model or well this or anyone else's. Well, the original actually had, I think the originals are a little bit similar, and you might have just noticed that, but I could still see a little bit through the original. I don't know. I, I really don't know. And also one more thing. What's this little... Well, I, I have no idea. Did they were... They almost... Did he thought that James had two domes or something? I don't know. So yeah, okay, now let's move on to James's prototypes. Yes, James has two, I think. Let's see what they are. Okay, so here's James's first prototype, and what even is this? His running board is a little bit extended, which is kind of off. There's a wheel on the back, and he does not have, well, he does have an extra wheel, but it's supposed to be at the front, not the back. And, yeah, and I'm pretty glad they removed it. And also, the lining on the tender. The tender lining on that one is gold, when it should be a uh, black lining. Did they mess that up? To be honest, oh, oh yeah, I also noticed that James's prototype tender wheels are basically from the original show, or probably from that tr from that muddy Thomas Jobson truck. I have no idea, but I do like that he has painted buffer, so that's kind of neat. All in all. I think the prototype gets a 3 out of 10 for me. Yeah, this looks more like Edward than a James in my opinion. Hmm, I wonder if that's going to be how they're going to handle Edward in all and should go for the, his Morris one if they decide to make one. Hmm, we'll see what happens. And here is his second prototype. Now, the first one... This one stayed original to this one, 
But the tender is a completely different story. They changed the wheels and the wheels are different. In fact, the tender wheels are basically a little bit spiky, which they change it on the final product. And yeah. Oh yeah, I just also want to note that the switch is grey, which it should be red. But I actually like that mistake actually. Wait a minute. Okay, but first, I give this a 5 out of 10. At least they put, wait a minute. Is that the tender from the Talking Dragmaster range? Oh. Oh. Let's move on. So overall, what do I think of the motorized ologists go Carly and James? They're actually really good in my opinion. They look, they stay similar to the show of All Ninjas Go, and they're actually really good models. Oh yeah, I just also want to point out that James's cab is beautiful. I have no idea how they handle it, but it's really good. Overall, I give Carly a 10 out of 10, and James a 9.5 out of 10. Really great models. And I'm happy to have them in my collection. All I need is Gordon and... I think I got all of them until Emily, Hero, and Young Bao. I'm, I mean, Hero, Emily, and Kenji come out, which is probably they're going to come out around September. So yeah. Oh yeah, I also need to get Muddy Thomas. So yes. Goodbye, everyone. This is Team Zug signing out. Peace out.